So today we're going to be looking at doing some color grading and a little bit of compositing. So I'm going to use a second image, this image, as a reference point for this image here. So we're just going to create a little color grade for it. The colors as stand are pretty good. We have a we don't have any color cast in this image. Uh, so we can get straight into it. So the first thing I want to want to do is make a selection. So I'm going to I'm going to cut this person out and I want to take this background and I want to kind of make a blank canvas out of it. So we'll give it a kind of just overall tone. So I don't want I want to get rid of this detail. I'm go we're going to use the Gaussian blur tool to do that. But the first thing I need to do is make a selection from this part here. For that I'm going to use under the tool menu and selection tools. Uh, I'm going to use intelligent scissors and I'm going to start down here by first of all I'll click feather edges and let's see we'll feather them two pixels and I'm going to go ahead and start selecting. So with my selection made, you can see it's just a few errors in it, so those can be corrected. You can click and drag any points you want and drop them, and then it should reappraise uh, where it has made the selection if it's gone wrong or if you feel that it's not accurate enough. I can add points in this new points in the selection as well before I decide that I'm. I'm going to uh, use this as a, as, a, as a selection. So for instance, I want to grab some extra points here. So I don't like to look at that. So I'm not going to worry too much about these extra hairs coming off. Uh, the selection tools in GIMP aren't as powerful as some other softwares. So uh, we'll just have to, to make do with what we, with what we have. So just tightening up the selection to make sure there's not so many jagged edges. Okay. So I think that will do. So I'm going to hit enter to make my selection. That looks pretty good. Uh, I might want to soften it a little bit just to make sure it is going to integrate well with the background. So from there I need to go to my select menu and I can choose feather. To feather my selection. Maybe I can try three. So that will have made it a, have made it a little bit softer. You can see a preview of your selection here. Uh, so if I do, so if I go to the layer menu and then do duplicate layer, and then I can add a mask. We can add a mask, make sure you have selection chosen, and I click add, and then we can have a look. So I can do uh, select none or shift control A to see how my selection looks. Uh, we get a better idea how it looks once I blur the background. So I'm just going to use the filter, blur, Gaussian blur, and we're going to delete this and set it to 1000. And that looks okay. There's a few errors here, uh, which could be corrected on on the on the mask. So using using the brush tool. Okay, so that looks all right to me. So. We have our two layers created. Now we're going to, so now for our second layer, I'm going to select all and control C, and then we can introduce it in here, control V, and we want to introduce it as a new layer. So we just click on our new layer icon. And then we also want to uh, scale this. So we go to our tools, transform tools, and we can go to scale and scale this in. Of course, with this, the proportions don't uh, 
necessarily matter. Okay, so now it's been scaled, so we can go back to our move tool. And for this layer, then we can change the layer blending mode over here on the right hand side from normal to overlay. And the next thing we need to do then is add our filter for blur and Gaussian blur. And again, we're going to blur this by 1000 and click on OK. So now we have our color grading. It's a bit strong. The intensity is a tiny bit too high. So we can reduce it down to about 45%. We look at before and after. We've got a nice warm color grade there. And that's matched by the warm color of our background, which we made to look more akin to a kind of a blank, a blank wall. So that's just simply how you can change your background in an image and then use a second image to color grade in GIMP. I hope you enjoyed this. Uh, if you did, like if you could like the video, that would be great. Uh, if you have any comments or you know another way of doing this or if you think you know a better way of doing this, please leave a comment below. Thank you for watching.